The Food and Agriculture Organization reports that as of 2020, Ghana had a forest area of about 7.9 million hectares, representing about 35% of Ghana's total land area. 7.6 million hectares of this is classified as primary or naturally regenerated forest, whilst about 297,000 hectares is classified as planted forest. The Achimota Forest Reserve is primarily a naturally regenerated forest located in Achimota, a town in the Accra Metropolitan District of the Greater Accra Region. In pre-colonial times, the Achimota Forest, which was a forbidden forest, was a silent refuge for escapee slaves. Hence the name Achimota, which means speak no name in the Ga language. In 1921, the colonial authorities are said to have acquired the Achimota lands from the Owu family to establish the Prince of Wales College, now Achimota School. The colonial government would later acquire additional lands from the Owu family in 1921 for expansion purposes. Then in 1930, the colonial administration gazetted a portion of the acquired land, that is 495 hectares, as a reserve to serve as a field laboratory research for schools in Accra, generate fuel wood for the Achimoto School, conserve biological diversity, and play the ecological role of purifying the air in the city. Today, the Achimoto Forest Reserve is the only existing urban forest reserve in Accra, covering an area of 360 hectares and sandwiched by Achimoto School to the west. Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration to the east, Christian Village to the north, and the George Walker Bush Highway to the south. The reserve, which comprises a botanical garden and a zoo, is home to various species of flora and fauna. Apart from its ecological and recreational benefits to the country, the reserve also contributes to Ghana's gross domestic product by generating a revenue of 60,000 US dollars annually. The value of the reserve can therefore not be overstated. Unfortunately, over the years, the forest has been under severe encroachment, resulting mainly from population growth around the forest reserve. Aside from this, portions of the forest reserve have also been turned into refuse dumps as well as prayer camps. All these have contributed to loss of forest cover in the reserve. A study conducted to investigate the trends and drivers of land use and land cover changes in the reserve revealed that 59 hectares of the Achimoto Forest Reserve was lost or converted into settlements between 1991 and 2015. As of 2022, the Forest Reserve has lost 135 hectares of its forest cover. In order to prevent further encroachment and degradation of the Achimoto Forest Reserve, some civil society organizations recommended that the forest reserve should be turned into an eco park. Spearheading this campaign was Arusha Ghana, a civil society organization working in the natural resources and environment sector. In 2013, the government of Ghana gave approval for the forest reserve to be converted into an eco tourism park. Following this, in 2016, the Forestry Commission leased the reserve to a private organization to develop it into an eco park. Meanwhile, in 2007, the Owu family had submitted a petition to the then president of Ghana, John Ejekum Kufo, to release to them the portion of the reserve close to the N1 highway. This petition was accepted and the Owu family was granted a lease of 361 acres of land for a term of 99 years. However, the lease agreement was not executed. The Owu family therefore continued to petition subsequent governments for the grant of the third portion of the forest reserve. In 2013, the then president John Dramani Mahama gave executive approval to release the third portions of the forest to the Owu family. Then on 19th April 2022, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abu Jinapo, on behalf of the President Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, degazetted the third portion of the Achimoto Forest Reserve through the executive instrument EI-144. This took effect on 1st May 2022, 
meaning from 1st May 2022, that portion of the forest reserve was no longer a forest reserve. This led to public outcry with well-meaning Ghanaians and environmentalists calling on the president, Nana Adedankwe Kufwado, to reverse his decision amidst fears that not only will developing parts of the forest cause an environmental havoc in the city, but it will set a bad precedent in Ghana's forest management as others whose lands were converted into forest reserves would also advocate for them to be deserted. Unbeknownst to Ghanaians, this was just the tip of the iceberg. More trouble was brewing for the Ashmata Forest Reserve. On 23rd May 2022, the general public got wind of the information that the late CEO of the Forestry Commission, Kwejo Ousue Friye, popularly known as Sir John, had willed portions of the Ashmata Forest Reserve, which he had bought to some family members of his. This again led to backlash from the public as many condemned the late CEO of the Forestry Commission for blatant abuse of power and corruption. Following all these developments with regards to the Archimoto Forest Reserve, some 14 civil society organizations working in the natural resources and environment sector came together to petition the Commission for Human Rights and Administrative Justice Shraj to probe the degazerting of the Archimoto Forest Reserve as well as the purported seal of portions of it to Sir John. They argue that subleasing portions of the forest to an entity or persons presented a case of abuse of power and conflict of interest. These civil society organizations are Civic Response, Arusha Ghana, Nature and Development Foundation, EcoCare Ghana, Viridis Environmental Consult, Casa Initiative Ghana, Ghana Wildlife Society, Advocates for Biodiversity Conservation, Forest Watch Ghana, 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon, United Force for Development, Rights Advocacy Initiative Network, Chopping Boss Ghana, and Codec. According to them, Ghana's forest reserves should be protected in perpetuity for the purposes for which they were gazetted. They said loss of any amount of forest reserve or other protected area, no matter how small, should never be allowed. The Office of the Special Prosecutor has since commenced investigations into Sir John's alleged unlawful acquisition of lands within the Archimoto Forest Reserve, as well as the Sakumono Ramsar site. However, the Owu family now has ownership of 361 acres of the Archimoto Forest Reserve. In an interesting twist, Someone who identified himself as the spokesperson of the Osu Stool, New Otiankra, alleged that the Osu Stool is the rightful owner of the land on which the forest sits, not the Owu family. While the Osu Stool has released a statement indicating that Ni Otiankra's comments were not authorized by the Stool, as he does not speak for it, the stool has indicated that it is critically assessing and discussing the matter of the Archimoto Forest ownership and will soon issue an official statement on it. So apparently, we haven't seen the end of this issue. The saga continues.